Hello and welcome to this Astranti Theory video. Today our expert tutor Pete will be taking you through liquidity ratios, a key bit of theory that you need to know for your P2 exam as well as for the management level case study. So without further ado, I'll now hand you over to Pete. So now we're looking on to liquidity. Essentially liquidity is all about looking and assessing our company's ability to pay its debts. If, for example, we give our friend £10 today and we don't need it back, but then your friend says that they can't pay you right now because they don't get paid tomorrow, till tomorrow, then that friend, in a sense, has poor liquidity. They don't have enough money at the moment to pay off their debts. They owe us £10, we want the £10, they don't have the £10, that's poor liquidity. You want to be in a position where any debt that falls you can pay easily because you don't want to get extra interest rates, you don't want to risk fines, you don't want to, in a sense, risk losing the business because too much debt can cause the business to collapse. And essentially, poor liquidity means we have little cash and short-term assets in order to pay off our debts. And the main way, the chief way in which we look at our liquidity is by using the current ratio. And this is a measure that looks at the current assets and current liabilities. Essentially looks at how easily we can pay off our liabilities or how many times over we can pay off our current liabilities with our current assets. Quite simply calculated by dividing those current assets by the current liabilities. And we can see that the total or the grand total of current assets comes to 171 million and the grand total of liabilities comes to 77 million. So how many times over can we pay off our liabilities with our current assets? Well, it's quite simply, we take that 171, we divide it by 77 and we get 2.2. So we can pay off our current liabilities 2.22 times with our current assets. However, again, when we look at last year, the previous year, 2000X2, we had current assets of 142 million, but we only had current liabilities of 53 million, meaning that last year we actually had a current ratio of 2.67, meaning that actually it's gotten worse. We have more liabilities compared with assets than we had last year. Last year we could pay off our current liabilities 2.67 times over, now it's just 2.2 times. But generally, anything over one is considered to be healthy. You don't want a current ratio being less than one, because that means you've got more liabilities than assets. But the higher the number, generally, the better. Meaning, and as a summary of the current position, the ratio is worse than meaning we have fewer assets available as a proportion of our liabilities to pay off our debts. And the other one, works in the same fashion, the quick ratio, otherwise known as the acid test ratio, is a shorter term measure of liquidity. And this is generally used when you are looking at short term decision making rather than long term decision making, because it removes inventory. Now we can't use, uh, remove inventory for the current ratio because of course, that is assets. But in the short term, for example, we were going to look at the liquidity for the next week, we can't use our inventory because, of course, we're not going to be able to sell that huge inventory figure, 59 million pounds worth of inventory in the next week. And so we do the exact same thing, but we exclude the inventory. So looking back at the statement, we have our total assets of 171, but we need to remove that 59 million in inventory and then Again, we need to look at our current liabilities of 77 million, which of course do not change. So add those in, 171 million, subtract the 59 million for inventory, divide it by the current liabilities of 77 million, gives us 1.45. So even in the short term using the quick ratio, we still have more assets than we have liabilities. Although unfortunately, the exact same position is prevalent here again, in that in the previous year, we had total assets of 142, inventory of 47, 
current liability of 53 million, giving us a quick ratio for 2000X2 of 1.79. So again, the ratio has worsened, the quick ratio has worsened over the year. Both ratios have worsened, meaning that it's not just down to the inventory, it's not just down to the increase in inventory, both have worsened over the year. The ratio of assets to liabilities has gotten worse. The company is in a worse financial position, a worse liquid position than it was last year. But saying that, the ratios could still be considered healthy because they are over one. If they're under one, that means we've got more liabilities than assets, and thus we're in a poorer position. We're in a poor position. We have poor liquidity. So we don't have poor liquidity, but we have a worse liquidity position than we did at this time last year. Now this video was just an extract from our full tuition video on performance evaluation. This video, as well as tuition videos covering the whole P2 syllabus, are available on our website, alongside a comprehensive study text, plus bite-sized revision notes, as well as practice questions and mock exams to help you practice ahead of the real thing. So head over to astranti.com to access our full range of materials designed to help you pass your exams. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel as we do really appreciate it. So thank you very much for watching this video and I'd like to wish you all the best of luck with your studies.